Hey guys, Victor here with a response video to Shred Ninja's Talk About Last Airbender, where he looks at the second uh, Last Airbender trailer and uh, gives, gives some criticisms and a couple of compliments. Uh, I'm going to address his issues, but first I would like to say that I, I am a fan of the show. I've seen pretty much every episode, and, um, and I have been pretty amazed by how they handle a lot of those elements, and just, yeah, how fun the entire thing was. Um, okay, so the, he, uh, what he ended up criticizing were the uh, cast choices mainly and the costume choices. Cast the cast choices are an old um, an old issue at this point, uh, but you know still relevant. Um, they casted a lot of white people, even though a lot of the characters in um, Avatar were basically based, or I mean, like the, the the whole areas were based on Asian cultures of various sorts. <sighs> Mixed feelings on this one, but I'm I'm in general I'm able to forgive the um, the, the casting choices. Uh, if only because I can't offer a better one. Fact is, um, the race in the cartoons, the races of anyone, were never actually clear. There were a few that, that looked more more Asian, more Indian, more whatever. But especially with the main characters, they could pass for they could pass for white people with different skin color. Uh, and there there's definitely more to race than just skin color. Uh, and I don't think anyone would have wanted to see the kids they casted for the movie in darker face, just just in a in a sad attempt to appeal to the people complaining. <sighs> the other issue that that has been brought up, um, I don't remember who said it, but they did point out pretty accurately. As cynical as it is, this is being marketed to a mainly white American audience. Um, you know, I'm not saying there aren't other people who like it. I'm sure a good good number, but um, yeah, and. In terms of when you already have that ambiguity of the characters themselves, and you don't know how to how quite to approach it, yeah, white kids probably the best choice if you're if you're trying to make a movie aimed at at a white audience. Hate to say it, but it's true. Um, also, there's a certain humorous image of someone trying to cast um, or trying to do a cast call for a bunch of Inuit children and uh, and Asian children. Uh, it's really hard to find good uh, actors, by the way. Child actors, that's really tough. I don't envy did, uh, M. Night Shyamalan, especially since he's doing the other two uh, s uh, sequels. So yeah, I don't have problems with that. Uh, costumes. Shred was talking about all the costume changes. Um, how, why couldn't they just stick with the cartoon? Why did uh, Aang's arrow have to be uh, changed? And yeah... I like the costume, I, the, way, the costumes, the way they put that. I think it works. Uh, you got to realize that he's or that they're making a movie. They're transferring something from cartoon to real, for all intents and purposes, and you can't transfer it straight. The costumes are colorful, but they're also and basic. But that's because they are animated. When you try to transfer those into real life, you get cosplayers, and nothing against cosplayers, but you wouldn't. Really, they don't look. If you take, if you look at some of these pictures of these really good cosplaying costumes, they don't look like they belong in a movie. When you're doing a movie, you are thinking about all sorts of different elements and uh, a lot of different facts. For instance, um, why are there? You know, they wore blue in the in the original uh, cartoon. Why are they wearing these subdued colors and furs? Well, um, ink is expensive. And if you're basically um, hunter-gatherer society over wherever the hell you are in the Arctic, you're not going to have access to ink. If you're a monk up up uh, in a mountain, you're you're probably going to be wearing more subdued colors. You got to realize they're also carrying or they're also pulling stuff from uh, real-world cultures. That's what the cartoon did, and I think that's what they're doing with the movie. They they. Rather than pulling straight completely from the cartoon, they're also pulling from the cultures that the cartoon pulled from, because that may, I think that works better. Um, also, another point, uh, as I said, the arrow issue. I also like the arrow change. I don't know how a full solid arrow would have worked. You gotta, you gotta remember. You're thinking, wait a minute, did they tattoo, like spend months or something? 
using primitive primitive technology and and um, no real cleaning equipment to tattoo a what four year old I don't know when they're supposed to put those arrows on the kids um, on the head down the back on the arms down the legs I don't remember but yeah that's a lot of tattooing for a little kid I think the more intricate um, uh, culture I mean like kind of tattoos that look like they come from a real world culture I think that works so yeah um, things that I liked the scenes you know there were changes but some of these scenes look so amazingly like scenes from the cartoon that I recognize them instantly and that's from like their regular two second one second fade to black uh, uh, trailer stuff I'm excited they paid a lot of attention to detail they thought about it more than more than they even had to the costume changes even indicate that they could have um, they could have just done the straight adaptation but they have been thinking about what they're doing and I can appreciate that um, so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing this movie I may even be there opening day or opening evening to um, give my review uh, the following morning but I can't be sure of that in any case um, thanks for watching um, and Shred I mean no offense in this video I I, I guess I would encourage you to keep an open mind, um, as and I think you have to some degree. Thanks for watching. This has been Victor with the Junkyard, or no, it hasn't. It's just been Victor with a uh, video reply. Anyway.